Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you a piston operated three way minecart station. It works entirely off timings and there's no logic gates whatsoever for either direction of travel. And it's quite simple. I'll show you how it works. So that's one of them. Uh, and they, they go both ways, which is pretty important for a minecart station, I'd say. And I'll just show this one. This one comes back on a different track, but um, that can easily be changed just by messing around with how the uh, oops, how these tracks are laid out. If you would rather it come back on the same the same way, uh, this layout would do the do that. Uh, show that, and that won't mess up any of the timings on the other pistons either. So it's really personal choice. Oh, I don't know why I got hurt there. That's actually never happened before. <laughs> Alright, so how does this work? Well, uh, I take an advantage the length limit of the redstone so that the far right button can trigger both of the pistons. One, the first piston is this uh, repeater, and the second piston goes through these two repeaters. While the middle one obviously only does the first repeater, and the far left only uh, starts the cart. So this design, it has a couple challenges, a couple advantages. Uh, the challenge is you c can only push the carts, so that's why it keeps going to the left for each next track. If you pull it, it just pulls out the track from underneath the cart, and the cart is stranded in an open space with nothing there. And it's uh, a little bit sad. A little lonely mine cart left on his own with no track. But uh, anyway, um, I like how you can have the tracks parallel to each other, which, um, I don't know, you don't see that very often, because most of the time they take advantage of these sort of, these sort of curves, and you get lots of funkiness going on if you have parallel tracks. Yeah, and uh, oh, one more thing for the return tracks, we have these uh, detector plates, detector rails, I should say. Oh, that wasn't going fast enough for that one to work, but if it does go fast enough, let's do this. Of course, it's not working when I'm trying to show it. <laughs> there we go. It pushes you onto this uh, rail. This one actually triggers the exact same piston to complete the track because if you had a track here and then this piston goes, forget that mine track, then you get all sorts of messed up stuff, which is another you know, disadvantage of pistons. They they can be somewhat unpredictable when moving uh, rail tracks, so you have to be careful in your layout. For example, a uh, I used to have this track turning right next to the piston, and when it extended, it or, and or it would uh, do some funkiness with the rail, where this one would try to curve this way as well, and uh, it was weird. But yeah, I hope to see some uh, more piston-operated minecart tracks. It's probably not the prettiest thing, but uh, uh, it's kind of fun to ride. Yeah. All right. Thanks.